We good? All right. It is late. I'm sick. I don't have much of a voice. And I'm really, really upset about this new ridiculous playoff policy that Rob Manfred has suggested or proposed or leaked. I don't even know how it got on the internet. I don't know why it would even get on the internet. It's that ridiculous. Like just reading through it without even thinking about it for a second, they're just wrong. Like who put this out without thinking of the fact that the best team in the league is gonna get a six day layoff, a seven day layoff, while the, we sort out this whole three games here and this wild card and we're gonna pick our opponent and we're gonna do this whole reality TV stuff. Meanwhile, the best team in baseball is sitting at home waiting for all this crap to transpire. God forbid someone's ace pitches four days before the end of the regular season and then has 10 days in between starts. And this isn't football where you can heal up and that helps. Like being on a routine is so important in baseball. We play for six months and now you're gonna say at the most critical time of the year that we're gonna get 10 days off maybe or the six days in between games and who knows how the pitching rotation lines up and all this different stuff and that's supposed to be a benefit? That's supposed to be the best team in baseball gets this benefit? These are just some things that come off the top of my head. The first time I read through the proposal, I haven't even had time to think about this. I just read it like an hour ago and I, I just am so beside myself with Rob Manfred and his ridiculous rule changes that he keeps proposing. We're gonna move the mound back two feet. We're gonna have a three batter minimum. We're gonna, oh, get the, get the, the game's under three hours because that's what fans want. Fans don't care if the game's two hours and 57 minutes or three hours. The reason that you wanted to do that in the first place is because all the people that own media companies that own baseball teams are the ones that voted you in as commissioner in the first place. So you're protecting them. So in that case, you should probably know something about media. You should probably understand what people are connecting with. Since those are the people that voted you in as commissioner, you should probably understand something about media. So I don't want to rant too much, but like, God, I just had to get this off my chest. And I want to focus on some solutions, some things we can do in media. Like, Rob, if you understood media, maybe as the commissioner of baseball, you could solve some of these things. Like how in one of your biggest markets, half the fans can't even watch the damn game because of TV deals. Like, I grew up, what got me into baseball is I grew up going to see it one Dodger game a year. I'd go to one a year. We didn't have money to go to more than that. I'd sit out in the bleachers. We'd listen to Vince Scully on the radio with my dad. But we watched Dodger games all the time. I was sitting in bed at night watching Dodger games. This is what got me into baseball. Half the people in local markets have blackouts. They buy the MLB package to watch their favorite team and they can't even watch their favorite team half the time. I know that's not all on Rob, but as the commissioner, figure it out, man. Like, <clears throat> how are we supposed to spread the game? How are we supposed to get people interested, young people, the missing generation of baseball fans. How are we supposed to get them interested in the game when they can't even see the damn game? And on top of that, they can't even go to Twitter where all the young people hang out. You can't even go to social media and see anything about the game. Steph Curry throws a bounce pass in an NBA game and it, it's trending with 1.5 million views five minutes later and Mike Trout goes and launches himself and robs a homer or something and you can't find the highlight anywhere online. It's ridiculous. You got Bam that... Baseball advanced media that was designed to just centralize all MLB content and force people to pay to have access to it. Great, you made a lot of money up front. But you centralize all this content, you make people pay for it, and you know what you get? You get a missing generation of fans. You make some money up front, great, and you miss a generation of fans, and the, the game is losing popularity, and especially amongst young people. I mean, let's not even talk about, like, the shoes, the cleats. Oh, Hey, Mike Clevenger, you can't wear those shoes that are colorful that everybody on Twitter likes because it violates our stupid cleat policy where you get three colors of cleats. Like, I mean, what does it even matter? Just let the players express themselves. Let it have some personality. You want to market the game? Don't change it. Don't make the mound 62 feet. Don't make playoffs where you have to pick your opponent and freaking whatever. Don't change the game. Market the players. You have more players in baseball than any other league with much more diverse backgrounds worldwide, more so than any of the other major American sports. And it's the least marketable. It's because you make stupid decisions about how you market the players. You don't open it up 
Let content go. Get it out there. Quit with this stupid cleat policy, the stupid uh, uh, BAM policy, blackouts all over the place. Like, and that's just dealing with content that we already have available. Like, where's the innovation in content? Like, wh where's the next thing that's, that's going to draw fans in? Like, who, who's innovating? Who's creating something new? Who's trying to identify with the young fans? God, it's frustrating, man. But instead, we're going to have a, you know, three hour. If the game's three hours and one minute, no good. But two hours and 59 is, is good. And that's going to make it more appealing or move the mound back or, you know, three batter minimum and whatever else other stupid ideas are, are coming out. So. I don't know. That, I, that's I got so much more to say on this, but I gotta can't waste all my time on just pointless crap that's not gonna change. So, Rob, if you're watching this video, you probably won't because you don't even have a pulse on the game that you're commissioner of. But if you're watching this video, like you want to talk about some stuff, you want some recommendations. Hit me up. I'm sure you can get in contact with me. I'm sure you'll probably be finding me or something like that. So that's what that's it. That's all I got to say. Frickin'.